Welcome back to the vlog. I've just arrived at Barcelona Airport, Terminal 2. It's home time. Put it on. Yes, please. You will have to go to the yeah, oversized. Yeah, yeah. But so my flight's not until 11 o'clock, and it's currently only quarter past eight, but it was the only time the bus was coming. Normally, you can't check in until two hours before, so that would be nine o'clock. But yeah, props to uh, Barcelona Airport for letting me check in early. Okay, thank you. I expected more from Barcelona Terminal 2 Airport. There's literally a, a duty-free shop and a cafe. So I got a coffee, that's, that's about it. The worst feeling is when you know you're going home and you're just sat in the airport waiting waiting for your plane, you just want to get home. Back in England, and the sun's out. I'm just sat waiting for my bike to arrive through the conveyor belt. It always seems to take longer because bikes always come out last. When you're waiting for a bike, you're here like double time. And I reckon traveling is the equivalent tiredness. It's like a three or four hour ride. Traveling all day really does tire you out. But I'm gonna skip all this, Anne, and I'll see you in a bit. I I'm, gonna, I'm gonna spin home. And we're home. I think I know someone who's excited for me to be home. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hello. Come here. No. Hey. Come here. Hey. <laughs> yes, yes, made it back home. Back into the office. I've missed I've missed this room so much. So if you became a subscriber whilst I was away in Girona, then uh, you won't you won't have seen this space. Well, you will have done if you've watched my older videos. But any, anyway, this is my office. This is where I spend a lot of my time at home, uh, working, editing. I've got my Zwift rig there, which is connected up to the computer down there. That's my work computer, a couple of lights. Some awesome art on the wall, which I got sent. Uh, a Team Sky jersey over there. More art, my, my sunglasses collection. And this, that should be, that should be there. But it's, it's obviously fallen off. The reason it is, or the reason it was uh, pointing in that direction is because that is the direction to Norway. So there you go, now you see my office, and whilst I was away, two parcels arrived. One, two, two parcels. Small parcel, who is this from? Um, Wahoo Fitness. I've got a parcel here from Wahoo. I'm not gonna open this one today because I wanna crack on with this big parcel. I know what's in here, and I'm very, very excited to open this parcel. But if you think you know what's inside this parcel from uh, from Wahoo, drop a comment down below and let me know. I'm gonna open this in tomorrow's vlog. So now, for this. I'm very, very happy about this. You have no idea how happy I am. This has finally arrived. I've been waiting for this item since the 15th of October, I think. I was looking at my emails the other day, my confirmation email, and I believe it was the 15th of October. Anyway, as soon as this came out for pre-order, I, I bought it straight away. I just had to have this. I knew it was gonna be an essential piece of equipment. Any guesses what it is yet? Probably. Look at that! 
DJI Mavic Pro. I was actually looking at the DJI Phantom 4 and I nearly bought that and then suddenly this little guy, this got released and, and as soon as I saw the reviews on this, the camera quality is pretty much the same as, as the Phantom 4 and it had very similar range, very similar stabilisation, very similar speeds uh, and I, I just knew this was the one that I needed to have. It can fold up really small, maybe it can fit in my cycling jersey. On my uh, on my big winter jacket, maybe it'll fit in that jersey. We'll have to test that out. Anyway, let's get this thing open. Wow! Look at how small this thing is. This is a 4K drone with a range of like four miles or, or seven kilometers. We've got this little controller. I'm guessing this is the charge. Yeah. yeah the Char chargers, cables, USB cables, the charging brick, and two sets of blades. I'm guessing they are four. Yeah, because the bottom, the bottom ones have these in already. So I think these just pull the the bottom ones twist out. Ah, you gotta you gotta pull the top arms out first, like that. Anyway, so I think these two, where have I just put them? I think these two blades. Are for uh, well, well the front two, the front two arms. I spent the last couple of minutes reading the uh, the quick start guide. I tried to be cool and not read it, but then I thought this thing's too expensive. I need to know what I'm doing with it. So as you can see, the battery is on one, well one and a half. So I'm going to stick this battery on charge for an hour or two, get it all charged up, so we can take it outside and give this thing a test before before it gets dark. And I will resume this vlog once the battery is charged. Couple of hours later now, I had a few a few issues setting up the drone. I just didn't know what I was doing really. We've still got a little bit of daylight, the battery's charged. Let's take this thing for a test fly. Come on. We've not got much daylight left, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Hopefully just enough time to get this thing in the air. I am freezing. Beginner mode, off. Successful first flight with the new drone. I've no idea how that footage is gonna come out I was just like flying forward and backwards and, and around in circles. I don't know. Hopefully something cool came out of that <laughs> 